All right, welcome to another video. My name's Jim. This is the Jim of All Trades channel. I'm glad you're with me. Uh, tonight we want to look at a trade that we took uh, this morning, actually early this morning, and uh, we're still in the trade and want to evaluate it. I want to look at my strategy that I gave to you in yesterday's video, kind of recover that a little bit and talk about why we entered the trade and when we entered it and when the best entry would have been uh, to to enter the trade today. So uh, I hope you'll stick around. Uh, this is going to be a shorter video, but uh, very, very in-depth and uh, very, very helpful to your trading. So I hope you'll, uh, you'll hang around for the whole video. Uh, before we get going, I am not a financial advisor. I am a trader that's sharing with, with you how I trade. I'm not uh, giving you financial advice, nor am I telling you what trades to take. I'm sharing with you the trades that I take and why I take them. If you could learn something from that, I hope you can. All right, with that being said, let's uh, let's look at my strategy. Uh, first of all, whenever I'm looking for a trade, I've got some criteria that I'm looking for. And the, the number one criteria that I'm looking for is I want to see divergence on the RSI on at least the one-hour chart. Right now, we're looking at the three-hour chart. Excuse me, and you'll see you'll see that we have a uh, down here at the at the bottom in the RSI. You've got uh, the slope is going up. Uh, that means that uh, the strength of the to the downside is weakening. But you'll notice that price is continuing to make lower lows. Okay, so we have price going down. Well, the strength is going up. That is divergence. So there's criteria number one. We're seeing the divergence. Number two, we want to see the uh, the fibs at a cor uh, completion level. What that means is. Um, in normal patterns in the market, um, price will come to a particular fib level and stop. For instance, in corrective waves, for instance, and I'll just show you right here. Here's a corrective wave right here. It's an ABC. Uh, you'll notice that if I put the fibs on here, uh, you'll notice that this came to the 1276, which is a normal uh, fib uh, completion area. Um, and so that that would be an example where where fibs are at a completion level for that particular wave. So as we're coming down, I'm looking for a completion level. Now, according to my count, um, the best count that I have uh, so far, um, this would be A, this is B, and this is C coming down. We have five waves of C coming down. Now it's not the most ideal count. In fact, it's uh, I question it. Um, but I've thrown the fibs on it several several places, and we still have. Um, pretty good landing point uh, what I did last night I mean I could I could put the fibs here we got a I mean, we got one uh, two three right there um, yeah that's not the best uh, division in the whole world um, but um, that does bring us down here to our final correction um, we do have five waves uh, in 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 this and so if we've got uh, uh, yeah, and I'm not super sure this might be an ABC. In fact, when I when I throw the fibs, if I ignore this wick and throw the fibs right here, um, you see that this comes down ABC comes down to a uh, the one two seven six, um, which pretty handy. Then then this comes up for B, so this would be an ABC. This would be a basically a large A. And this would be a very small B, and then we're coming down for C. Um, that I think is my my count, but I'm not sure, but uh, I'm going to take the last wave that we were in. So the last wave. So this is a this is a big movement. And so this is the beginning of the next wave here. So this is a one, two, three. This is where I threw my fibs in my in my. Uh, so I don't always know the count. I really don't, and I don't feel like I have to know the count in every trade. If I'm seeing divergence and I go to the last wave that was made, and I'm seeing a completion level which is the 1618, uh, that tells me that uh, I have a potential wave 4 that I can be trading. So um, what, I'm, what I'm looking at here, my count basically is a, this is a 1 wave. Okay, there's a 2. This whole thing is 3 because it finished at the 1618. Okay, then we're looking for 4 to come up here, and that's what I'm trying to trade right now. And then I think 5 is going to be coming down. So I think we still have some more down to go, even though we're, we're coming up for the short. So are the fibs at a completion level? I believe that they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, finally, uh, the the third criteria was: Does it correlate with Bitcoin? Um, I, I do have a count where uh, my basic uh, my basic count for Bitcoin right now is that we are in a one, two, three. And this is the four wave being made right now, uh, coming down for five. And this all this is going to be an A wave. Um, so we're actually looking at a larger correction in, in Bitcoin, I believe. Uh, a B, C, something like that. Excuse me very much. Uh, 
<laughs> excuse me very much. Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a cold or something. But uh, anyway, uh, so we're, we're looking at something like this. Uh, probably going to be looking more like a flat like this. It, we might even just uh, come up uh, like so. Um, that may be the, the case. Um, we may just have a three wave here. Um, this is another possibility as well. So we, we may just have a three wave there, um, which is, this is going to be in A, B, C, and then we're going to be coming, coming up for, sorry about that, coming up for A, B, C, something like that. And then we'll be coming down for ABC again, for, so it would be a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Um, there's all kinds of potentials, but I guess what we need to say is that we have a potential up move here. Uh, I'm not certain of that up move, but it's a strong potential. Uh, we have the RSI in the bottom portion heading in the upwards direction. So there's a good correlation possibly there, um, though we're uncertain there, but uh, we, we think there might be a good correlation there. Finally, uh, if those three things are in place, then we have a good potential for a trade. So what we did is we said, let's uh, let's now determine our plan for our 1-2 two, two entry. Now, if you'll remember, the 1-2 entry uh, is, is based upon... Um, the way wave structure works. If it's an A, B, C, okay, there's an A, it'll come down for a B and go up for a C, like that, generally. Um, and so uh, we wait for this A wave, which is going to be five waves, generally, or three waves, okay, it'll be, but it'll be something like this, one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Uh, and then we're going to have three waves coming down, and this is our entry point if this is what we get. We want to see this wave right here. If this is the case, we want to see this wave retrace uh, in the in the in the retracement area. We want to see it retrace. Um, oh, come on. Somewhere in the vicinity of of the uh, fifty percent. 618 or the 78 uh, percent mark so but anyway we look for price to come down to this area and then we enter into this long trade here so that's the that's the one two trade entry so that's what we're kind of looking for uh, so that is my uh, strategy so let's go to now to the uh, chart and see what we found this morning so we had uh, let's get on the 15 minute chart that'd probably be the best place to see it yeah that's perfect okay <coughs> excuse me so uh, last night I was watching this wave here and I was looking to see if this is a this was a one wave right and so I said the possibility is if we go up in five one two three four five and come down in three that's going to be our entry but I said listen it, it might uh, this count might be wrong it might go up in three and then go down in five we're going to have to look lower and that's exactly what happened so we looked at both scenarios and, and we said okay these both scenarios might happen you'll see that this is a clear three wave and then it just dumped off it just fell off from there so uh, we never had a, a an indication to enter a trade here at all there was never any anything so we just uh, let price come down price came down to uh, my a key area here you can see that my trend line is right here and it touched my trend line as well as it converged with a, a key structure area which which is right here at 65 and, and, and I said in the Litecoin swing trading community that uh, you know 65 is we're gonna hit it we actually came down to 49 90 so um, excuse me 60 is 64 90 not 65 so I was uh, off by 10 cents but uh, there you go I hope that's uh, a good call for you now what we have is we have either an ABC that that is just formed um, which that's a potential or uh, we have the makings of a one two and this is a three and we're coming down for four we're going up for five that's the potential of what we have right now um, so I'm not sure what's going on so how do we know well I could have gotten out up here and just uh, traded that and, and then just exited my trade up here what would have told me to exit my trade up here I look for divergence on the 15 minute chart what you'll see here uh, and I saw it and I decided that as price that I would stay in the trade um, but as price was coming down uh, or going up, I should say, uh, we see price going up. It made two peaks and it made divergence. So as we see divergence on the 15-minute chart in the overbought area, that's a good exit exit point. I saw it and and thought maybe uh, maybe I'll exit, but I, I didn't exit. I stayed in it because I I believe that this could be a uh, 
makings of a four wave and we're going up for five. Now, if I'm wrong, basically this is an ABC and we're coming down here some more uh, to finish out. We're going to come down in five waves. Um, now, how do I know uh, what to do? Well, I don't know. I really don't. Uh, so where did I enter this trade? Well, I uh, this morning I had to go to work, and uh, so I, I entered uh, right, let's see, it wasn't the best entry in the world, but it wasn't the worst either. I entered right here about 60, uh, 66, 30 in that in that ballpark. Well, that's where I entered at 66, 30. I was trying to get a little bit better, but I had to had to run. Um, I didn't. Uh, I should have waited for this two to be made, but that's the. So yeah, I don't always make the best trading decisions in the world, but uh, that would have been ideal. But I got in at 66.30, um, but price did come up uh, in in uh, a one wave and it came down in two. Uh, and this was your entry point right here. I announced it on the Litecoin Swing Traded community today. Uh, I know that somebody saw that signal and jumped in at, at 65.50, which uh, that basically you nailed the bottom. Uh, if you did that, that was awesome. Good, good job on that. Uh, so, uh, so just looking at at this, I, I said, how did how did I know that this was uh, a potential entry point? Well, what I did is as as price was being made, I'm going to put it on the five minute chart here so we can. That's a three minute. Let me get the five. Um, as price was being made here, um, I threw the fibs on it. Okay, so I take the highest peak, right? Uh, I take the highest peak there, and I come down, uh, and and I draw the fibs there. And I actually said, hey, here's the one two seven six. It price actually came down down here to the one six one eight, and that's okay. Uh, it can do that. It doesn't always stop at the one. Uh, 1276. Uh, the other thing you could have done is uh, put your retracement tool on here as well uh, and you'll notice that uh, price came right down to the 786 which is an entry an entry point. So my 1276 would have been uh, would have been right here. That still would have been a great entry uh, at 6570. Anything under 66 dollars was a, was, a, was a great entry tonight uh, or today. So um, now so that's uh, that's the way the trade went down, and uh, it's looking great. It followed all the criteria. Um, it's a perfect trade. Uh, I'm you know I'm trading 100 Litecoin, and for every dollar that uh, price moves, it's uh, you know it's it's 100 dollars. And so um, you know you can uh, really these little trades can can add up to your account because as price goes down, uh, you'll you'll take that extra money and buy extra Litecoin. So you can really maximize what you what you have. All right, so we throw the fibs on and we see, okay, what's going on now uh, with this trade? So we're gonna we're gonna see price. There we go. We had uh, we got a one, two, three. It came up to the one six one eight, um, and it's telling me that that's potentially uh, now this is potentially five waves and it's done, um, and then. Uh, so, well, it is. It is five waves, and it's done. That's a third wave. So we're coming down for the for the four wave. Um, so this is coming. Uh, this came up to the one six one eight and touch. So that's why I'm staying in the trade. It didn't stop at the one two seven six. So uh, there's a good likelihood that this is not corrective, but rather this is a motive wave to the upside. So this is a one wave basically. So what we're expecting to see then, if that's the case, uh, and I think I've already said it, but I'll say it again. Um, if that's the case, then we have the makings of a one, two, three, four, and a five. And then class, what do you think is going to happen? Well, we're going to come down for an ABC, aren't we? But look at that. What is that? What's going to happen after that? Oh, let me change colors here. How about orange? That's really just this large one and a two, you know, or an A, B, and a C, right, a, a four. Um, so really, that that's just a large uh, A, B, and C. So that's what I'm kind of trading right now. That's what I'm expecting to happen. That's my count. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm following. So uh, what do I do if this becomes invalidated, and how do I know if it's invalidated? Well, good question. I'm glad you asked. Um, you guys are just asking awesome questions tonight. Uh, so how do I know if it's invalidated? Well, if price comes down here uh, and this price breaks this plane right here, um, breaks the plane of this two wave right in there, if it comes significantly lower down here, which is right around my entry point, 
uh, then I'm just going to get out of the trade because we're probably going to come down. Uh, but uh, it may come down one, two, and then come three, four, fives like that. So you don't have to jump down. You might wait for it to retrace back, and, uh, or you can just put your stop at break even. But uh, this four wave may come on down close to the top of this wave. Um, but if it if it continues too low, then then we want to get out of the trade. So uh, is there anything that we can find out from the fibs here and see where we think this four wave is going to end up coming? It looks like it's flattening out now, and it may be it may be coming to an end pretty soon at the bottom of this wave. That's probably a good guess. Um, but let's put our fibs on it and see what we have here. Okay, so if uh, the price comes to the one or the one. Uh, or the 1276 and stop and bounces and, and goes off of there uh, then then we're still in the trade okay um, we oh, well, there look price just came down there it is um, let's see there we go so price is coming down here if it uh, if it bounces and, and, and goes back from there or bounces off of this level here 6730 even if it comes down in the middle of this area it's okay uh, even if it touches the 1618 it's really okay as long as it bounces and starts making five waves up but if, if it breaks if it breaks this plane here th that I've drawn with the red uh, the trades probably uh, should be cut because uh, we're probably heading down uh, some more so uh, that's not our trade so and that's okay uh, not every trade is perfect. We, we we just look for the setups and we enter and we see how they play out. Uh, we're gonna catch we're gonna catch a good trade if we continue using our criteria and uh, our setups properly and following our rules. So um, we just protect ourselves from loss. We don't want losses. We just want gains, right? And we look for places to get gains and 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 to enter safely into those uh, markets, not guessing what might happen. Too many people just try to guess what happened. That's not that's not trading. That's gambling. And we don't gamble. We don't want to gamble our money away. So, okay, so that's kind of where we stand. Um, I'm expecting this to be a one, two, three, four, five, uh, and I'm going to get out here at the top of the at the top of the five wave. Uh, where do I expect that to land? Well, if price comes, uh, there's the three. Let's project the five off of somewhere around here. I'm looking at a target of around. Uh, 69.77. That's uh, I bet you it's going to be about 70 bucks is where it's going to land. Uh, probably it's a nice round number, um, or just shy of 70. Is there any price structure that uh, that tells us? Yeah, there's price structure right here that kind of is a good landing point. So that's a that's a potential. Um, the one wave that we uh, were looking at earlier is right here at the 70 60 mark so a lot of times the four wave will come up to that one wave level so that's a potential as well so it's right around 70 dollars is what i'm looking at for the end of this wave if it goes i'm hoping uh then i then i'm expecting i'm expecting now again all this is all this is uh potential here we're going to watch and, and measure the waves as they're created so i'm expecting after that is done um then we're going to have a retracement, a B wave coming down and then C going up. And so that's, we want to catch that wave as well. So when it comes down for C, we want to catch it. So, all right, I'll keep you up to date. I hope that's helpful uh, just to help you think about trading and help you think about uh, analyzing this trade as well. Litecoin, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, heading up uh, for a little bit. And I think uh, Bitcoin is going to have a push up. But ultimately, I think we're still coming down. I'm still targeting this $4,800 mark here for uh, Bitcoin. We'll throw the fibs on there. And I'll show you why. Boom, boom, right there. <coughs> So here the three wave hit the 1618. That's perfect. Um, then we've got the, let's see, the four wave if it comes to about right there. I don't know, anywhere, anywhere in there. Uh, we've got 49.33. Um, you know, we've got 4,800 there in this ballpark right in here. So uh, that's what we're looking at. It's uh, so. Uh, We'll see. Uh, this four wave has to come up there. If that four wave doesn't come up at all and it comes here, that even puts us more, more definitively here at the forty-eight hundred uh, dollar level. So um, this could be just coming straight down. So I'm aware of that, and I'm I'm being aware of that in my trade. So if this just comes straight down from there, again we're going to cut the trade right about here, um, right about break even. Might lose a little bit of a. Um, 
the fee for the trade, but other than that, uh, it's uh, looking okay. All right, uh, you guys have a great evening. I'll bring a, I'll bring a more technical uh, analysis tomorrow with Bitcoin and Litecoin. You guys have a great night.